my name is David Johansson. I was the uh, project engineer for the Clark 70 project for District 7. Uh, my name is Josh Nichols. I'm a project manager for John R. Jurgison. I'm Jessica Miller and I'm a project engineer for District 7. I'm Rob Green. Uh, I was the uh, project superintendent for I-70 Adlane. I'm with Jurgensen. My name is Andre Hurt. I'm a highway technician for the Ohio Department of Transportation. Yeah, the main the main reason for the for the ad lane on the I-70 project was was uh, congestion, safety, um, just to move the traveling public through there quicker. This was the only section that had two lanes in each direction of I-70 between Dayton and Columbus. So it could get congested, especially in the morning, morning traffic, uh, rush hour traffic in the evening. We were able to add an additional lane in both directions. Obviously, you get more traffic flowing through a three lane. And with that comes safety factors as well. John R. Jurgensen, we were the prime contractor. Double uh, Z was the bridge subcontractor. US Utility was our electrical contractor. We had ANA Safety doing pavement markings and RPMs. Uh, security Fence was our guardrail and fence subcontractor. Uh, we had an asphalt plant about two miles away from this location. So we were able to source all our own material. Well, basically six bridges had to be demoed, rebuilt, providing the additional lanes. We we're building six bridges in the first phase. The second, or second stage we built three bridges. And the third stage we built three bridges that connected them. So that made it a unique challenge because all those things that were numerous traffic shifts, numerous deadlines that needed to be met. When we first started the project, I learned that uh, ODOT had hired a consultant firm, had some, some, some bad luck with that in the past. And I was kind of nervous about the relationship that, that we would all have, but it, it ended up the best relationship that I think I've probably ever had on the project. Um, David Johansson, uh, very, very approachable person, and he was just, he was a good partner. District 7 and J.R. Jurgensen both had a partnering perspective, but they also put the project first at every level so that everyone had this level of trust with each other so we could work with the field superintendents. They had the, had the level of trust with us and that they were supported by Josh as the project manager who was supported by Paul Kane and Chris Coons and the whole company. One of the things at Jurgensen that we implement for a scheduling tool is called a pool plan. We bring in all the foremen, we bring in ODOT members and other lead project team, and we get together and we lay out the construction schedule for the year. I'd say with this being my first project out of college that, and with ODOT, that it really set the bar high of what I should expect on future projects. Though we have different roles out there, we recognize the fact that our goal is the same. Um, the communication was good. Um, if we did come into uh, a particular situation where we had to kind of stop, rethink, figure things out, we were able to do that with very minimum problems just because of the fact that we all approached it from a partnering standpoint on both sides, from ODOT and from John R. Durgis. This was a three-year project and uh, we, we met our deadlines. The last phase of I-70 for a third lane from uh, Inglewood to downtown Columbus. Um, I'm proud that we was a contractor that got to finish the work there.